Okay, so the other day we did chicken update and we had a look at the chickens, uh, but today we're doing beehive update and honey update. Got John the beekeeper here. <laughs> I think I said beekeeper, not honey Bee producer. Honey <laughs> producer, yes. We have a little bit of an issue. Let's, shall we explain what's happening, John? Yeah, the bees, I think we've got lazy bees. Lazy bees. I think that's a technical term. It's uh, nothing to do with the management. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not been a very good year for honey production. Uh, we had a really wet uh, March, April, May. Yeah, and that's basically true, isn't it? We had yeah. a we've had a really weird year, haven't we? Yeah, it's been a bit particularly good. Uh, I say wet March, April, May, and the summer was not that brilliant neither. So, so what are you reckoning we're going to get out of these hives? We've got four hives. I've already looked in two of them, and uh, there was nothing in two of them. Right. So I've had to like, so I've taken them off. So yeah. there's two left down yeah. there. And I've avoided looking in them, but tonight uh, we will. Uh, We're going to check tonight. Well, I'll take the supers off because we'll start the feeding tonight, mm. and uh, do the AP guard, which is the treatment of raw mite. Right. So you do that after you've taken any honey. But there was honey early in the year, wasn't there? Quite yeah, a bit yeah, of honey. Was, yeah. So what do you think happened to that? Uh, when we did that cold snap in uh, June, mm. uh, I think they basically there was actually a super almost full. It weighed quite a lot. And they started eating pounds. it, have they? By the time I twenty came pounds. Back, it was heavier than that. It was really yeah. quite heavy. Uh, by the time I came back from holiday, they'd emptied it and taken it down into the Christ. food box. So they'd eaten it all? Yeah, and then they started putting it back in. As oh we'll see God. today, that one, you'll see the frames right. all drawn out. The box leaked empty, unfortunately. Right. Hopefully they put some back in with a bit of luck. So basically, I'm teaching John <laughs> about farming. John, John, it's fair to say you don't work in farming, do you? You no, work no. in defence, really, yeah, do project you? Project management. Project management. <laughs> I'm used to this. This is farming real life. This is crop failure. <laughs> This is risk management. Risk management. We've had crop failure on the bees this year, I think. We're going to get a little bit of honey. Hopefully. Do you reckon we'll get a jar? Yeah. I don't, I don't want to be too ambitious. This time next year, Rodney. No, we're talking four jars. We, oh, you four want four jars? jars. Jack's oh, here to see you both. Okay, that's, we, that's the target. All we need, jars. we need one jar to, to actually do a taste test with um, Jeremy Clarkson's bee juice, because I have one jar of... Jeremy yeah. Clarkson. Okay. Right. Let's have a look. Let's get down the hives okay. and have a look. Are you going wearing your shorts, Jack? Yeah. You're going to get stung, mate. Again. I'm putting my yeah. eBay bee suit on. You got stung in the foot last time, Let's you? go. Yeah. Right. Are you guys following us? Oh, Bessie over there, due to calf. Right. We're going down. Let's have a look. We can have a look at the fruit at the moment. These are nice, they're not quite ripe yet. Yeah, they're level in the trees that the cows can reach up to. to I know. The they perform quite well actually because they were quite small last year. These are Jupiters. They get yeah. really big. They're small for what they normally are like. They're normally like big as your hand. And these are russets over there. Right. Shall I put my bee suit up on? Alright, that's the closest I'm getting. You hold that. Yeah, the last time we had them down here, they were evicting the drones. All the male frogs are getting beefed out, mate. Yeah. My happy shopper bee suit just offers zero protection. Yeah, Better than nothing. So yeah, you were saying the other day they were nick kicking out the drains. You got a bit of video footage on that. Can you WhatsApp me that and I'll put it into this video? Yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah. And I'll put that. So basically what what was happening there then, John? It was a uh... <laughs> Disturbing, really. All the male drones uh, were being dragged out of the hives. The, the male bees were being dragged out of the hive. Well, the more boys, they don't want them for the winter. They're evicted because the, the, don't, the hive doesn't need them for survival now. So they're just thrown out. So they're thrown out to die. Brutal. Yeah, absolutely brutal. Yeah. It'd be like all yeah, our wives like chucking that. us out every winter, wouldn't what, it? What? And fend for yourself type thing. Plenty of wives would like to do that, I'm sure. But well, you've no chance of surviving. Now? No. The male's outside now. Well, yeah. there might be a few out there. Nature's at its best, the male drones are being evicted from the nest. See it? Trying to get back in. And the ladies will gang up and throw him out. There he comes. Yeah, thrown out again. Look, look, look at that, brutal. Maybe there's an analogy there for us all, eh? See them, if you look up, look up close in a minute and have a look. Uh, I haven't got any gloves on. Dragged out there, you know the females, and they stop them. The drones try to go back in, and they, they just basically block the, the entrance and stop them getting back in. Uh, but it's okay. The queen will lay some more next year. There'll be some male bees next year. All right, so rush the ready. Uh, How do you know which ones the drones are? 
they're a lot bigger than the, the females, a lot bigger, like twice the size. But like I, I can it. see them all now, they're all fanning yeah. outside. Now, why are they doing that? Just trying to keep cool, I think. Because they're all fanning their wings. There's some coming in with pollen on them. Yeah, so yeah, they're still getting uh, they're still bringing in, but it's nectar we need though for the honey. There's not much of that right. this time of year. Right, so you're going heading on in. Right, so let's what we'll do. We'll have a look at this one. This is the one that had lots of honey in it. Okay. And then they cleared it down to next to no honey. So they ate the honey. And now they put a little. And put now a little they're putting bit a bit back. back. Right. Let's quick look at it, see what's going on. How much does a bee average to eat? No idea. Oh, look up. See a bit. What can you see, John? Lots of bees and frames, but it's mostly uncapped frames. So let's have a quick look at this one. Look one out. Ooh. What is in there? A little bit of, a capped. Little bit of capped. Not much on that. Absolutely not good at all, really. This one looks a bit better. There's a, oh, crikey, there's not much though, is there? <laughs> not at all. Hang really. on, hold it still. <laughs> that is our honey, that bit there. Jesus, it's not anything. I know. Oh no, mate. And all the rest of the frames are. Do you think there's any to get? Do you think we'll get a jar? Uh, I don't know, mate. Might, maybe not. Oh, oh my life. We might be waiting until next year. None. Again, just, None of the above. Just a little bit there, but not much. So oh. You can see where they drew the frames out. Yeah. They actually drew them all out really well, but they yeah. emptied them. So they filled and then emptied. Jeez. Yeah. Well, I was on holiday. For oh, two please weeks. tell me there's at least one frame of honey. Mm, not, not looking good, mate. <sighs> so this time next year we might be doing honey. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Oh. Again. Oh. Drawn out nicely, but nothing on them. We are looking at a proper crop fail. Do you think we'd be able to cut a piece out of that square bit? The bit you got with one bit of honey in it? Um, we'll try. Yeah, a bit. That would be like just us to try a spoonful of honey. Let's put this on the Oh, there's one that looks pretty full. Is there more chance in that below there, do you think? There's one that looks pretty this is full. Where, this is where I think they're storing all the honey. Right, so this is going to be full. I think but so. But is that feeding to the young brood? Is that, sorry, can you get that for this year or let's not? Just, uh, let's just get a smoker. Me, me not knowing and understanding it all. So the bees are down in that bit and you can't get, you can't take that bit out. Yeah, it's, well you can, but you shouldn't really because you need it for winter. Right. Are you just feeding during winter? Yeah. Never water. We're going to start off feeding them tonight, actually. Get them ready for winter. Let's just have a quick thing and see what's happening down oh, here. Crazy. Let's look at this one. It's in tight, isn't it? That's all the propolis because it's that yeah. super glue they put in there to keep it. Ooh, what's that? Oh. So lots of brood still, and just started honey at the top there. A little bit of honey at the top. A little bit of honey there. So I think we've got to start feeding these, because there's not much around at the moment. Well they haven't got hardly any honey to feed themselves then. Yeah, by the look of it, they've eaten it all. Blimey, that's not good, is it? It's just because the weather's not been great this summer. Well, I think it's probably got something to do with it. Wow. It's starting to fly around a lot. Let's have a look at one of these frames towards the edge. Yeah. Because I tend to put the brood in the centre, you see. Right, safety, I suppose. Yeah. So this one's going to be full of honey, John. I'm sure of it. I can feel it in my water, Rodney. Mm. <laughs> this one here is going to be the honey mother load. Look at this coming out now. It's going to be. Oh, no, 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 oh there. there's a little bit. Oh, there's a fair bit in there. It's it's oh, we could rob that one, surely. It's absolutely toppers with it. Can't you just give them some extra feed in the winter? <laughs> yeah. Please. We could just get one. Oh, we just got to get one lot out, haven't we? That'd be one jar's worth, wouldn't it? <laughs> Probably, yeah. It's Not quite, that I'm going to be an expert or it's anything. Quite, it's quite heavy. Uh, oh, you've got to keep one of those out. I don't know, mate. We can just feed them a little extra. I'll feed them. I'll have a chat with you. 
chat with the bees about it. I'll feed them for you. What do you, what do you think we should do? Yeah, but I don't think they'd be too happy if we nick all their food. Be like, no, 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 no. But how are you going to feed them? Every night, give yeah. them the food that John gives them. What will you give them? Sugar water. Yeah, but he puts it in there in a thingy. Yeah, I can do that. We've got to try and get it. John can do it, I can do it. We'll sneak down here one night with, the, with this really cheap bee suit on and steal the honey, shall we? Yeah. I mean, it's here for a taking. <laughs> you reckon you can get in there? With That's full of honey as well. Oh. oh. What's that? That's a bit of everything, isn't it? That's, that's funny, different colour honey. Oh. Dark honey. We have that one then. That was actually quite a good one. Yeah, we'll have that one. Yeah. Well, if we extracted it, when would you do it? Um, I'd have to have a chat with Jane. Chat with Jane. Jane. Yeah, See what Jane says. When she's looking at doing hers, but we could, yeah. you know what, we could do one frame, I suppose. Just one frame. I mean, you could just put extra food in, couldn't you? Yeah, I will do. we just got to get one jar of honey, John. Okay, so that one's, okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put the How much would the jar of honey averagely cost for Well, Seth? so John, actually out of interest, how much does this jar, would one jar of honey work out roughly? Uh, normally you pay about five, six pounds for a pound. So how much do you think this is costing you to get one jar of honey, possibly? I think we need to do the maths first. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll do that if we extract I, it I have then. actually got a spreadsheet that shows all the workings. Right. So I just need to get that spreadsheet out and we can have a look at it. Yeah. And do some calculations from that thing. Okay. I don't want to prejudge it, you see. No. Right. So we are... Sure, so we've looked at the honey. It's not looking good. If we're really lucky, the next video on beekeeping will be we get a jar of honey or one or two jars. I think I think one's probably optimistic. Now nah, four. So we will be back with another beekeeping update. John's going to start feeding these. We will be back with the honey taste. The next video will be uh, we've seen it in the combs. We'll hopefully get a honey tasting video. Fingers crossed, we can rob the bees of their honey. Second hive then, we are having another look at another hive. Last one. Last four. chance. What's that one like? Is there anything in that? Lots of bees on it. But mm. Nothing in it. Nothing on it really. Mm. Still drawing out the frames by the look of it. There's Let's one that looks full. Big one. That, yeah. Oh no, they haven't even drawn those out, have they? No. Look, they're still like they were when they went in there. From the try, try on that one. Shop. But not really done much. A lot of bees on that one. Uh, That's got loads of bees on. A little bit of honey, but not much. Oh, look at that. Because it's not spaced out proper, this one. Yeah, okay. Mm. Good wide, they've made it. So let's just like, shake these off. It's very, it's very wide. Gee, look at it. Really drawn, they have drawn it out, haven't they? Yeah. Would that be full to the brim of honey? A little bit of honey, no, it's not a much. A honey, but nothing really. But that, but like when it's when they've made it, it's full to the brim of honey. Hmm. Nah, that's it, really. No joy. So oh like, dear. What about that back one, the brown one? They sound very angry. Should we have a look in the base of this one? See what these have been up to. Amazing how it's brewed for this time of year. But not the honey uh, that we wanted. Oh my, let's put that one back Instead in. Instead of having four, four hives, could you put it all one massive hive? No, mate. They wouldn't like it, they'd all fight each other. How many queens are there? Four. Four, mate, probably. Well, let's try one from the side. Heavy. 
Ooh. Mixture of honey and brood. Proper just honey on that side. See that? Let's put that back. Let's try one from right at the end. It's a loud motorbike. Mm. Too bad. Yeah, empty and some brood. So basically, about brood. six jars worth in those two. Maybe not even six jars worth. This is where we might get stung, Jack. This is about this. <laughs> we might actually uh, move back. Well, uh, I think stand back now. Have you been stung, John? Loads of times. Has he? Yeah. How do you know? I've been here when he's been stung. Mm. Like that, he's just been stung then. Oh. I think we abandoned ship, Jack. Let's stand, ba stand back. You got shorts on, Jack. Let's stand back. Summer, come on. Oh, I just oh, stood in cow poo. So oh, which is worth standing in cow poo. Or being stung. Or being stung. Being stung. Mm. We'll interview I mean, John. Could have gone in that one, and that one's fresh. Oh, it's a proper slopper, that Where's, is. Where are the cows gone? They disappeared They're over there. Look. Right. Let's. Uh, we'll have a chat with John when he's finished. Have you got a buddy there, John? Fine, I can hear it. He's a fool. He won't give up on you, will he? He's determined to bite. He is, he's determined. He's determined to get Whoa! Whoa! He's on me. He's on you, Jack. He's Jack. I think he's come back now. He was on my hair. I rubbed off with a pet. Rubbed off with a pet. Yeah, the pet. What about that? Right. So John, let me interview you here, our final final chat about it before we decide what we're going to do. Do you think we can get one jar of honey? I think we can, one jar out of the uh, brood box from one of the hives I think, and then we just basically feed them you know, lots of sugared water to make up for that. You right there Jack. Oh scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they weren't overly happy with that. One jar, This is so this is our crop failure but next year it's going to be, we are going to be knee deep in honey, I am sure of it, I am convinced. I hope so. Knee deep. Yeah, it's chasing him again. <laughs> We're gonna. We are the two honey musketeers here. We are bringing you honey next year, guaranteed, aren't we? Hundred percent. I am not. So, yeah, Even if yeah, I got yeah. to go and buy a couple of jars at Tesco's and relabel it, which yeah. is probably what Clarkson does. <laughs> we are gonna be the honey musketeers next year. Oh, no. We're gonna be up to our. This is this is risk in management. honey. This is where obviously risk the management. Weather, this is what happens with this is know, crop failure in weather, isn't it? Yeah, yeah this is it. So. Welcome to farming, John. Oh, Welcome so. to farming. Thanks, Richard. <laughs> Thanks, Richard. Makes oh. me feel all the better. Yeah. <laughs> Crack on. <laughs> crop failure. Crop failure on the honey. I'm scared. Ow! You'll be all right. Crack on. Crack on.